Welcome to the Glass Matrix Implant Portfolio. Before we go into the details of the Matrix Implant Portfolio, I would like to give you a quick overview of the TRI implant lines. On the left side, you can see the TRI classical line, including a narrow implant system with diameter 3.3, a bone level implant system with classical 3.7, 4.1 and 4.7 diameter and the same diameters is available for the classical line um, tissue level octa. So this is the common and classical lines of the TRI implant system and on the right side we see now the TRI matrix line also including a bone level system as well as a tissue level system. Great to see on this slide is that the thread design and the implant body design um, is equal to the classical line. So we have here um, with the design of the threads and as well um, with the surface technology the, um, a clinical proven system. So going a little bit more into the details of the TRI bone adapt, this describes the implant body design. Here we can see uh, we have a tapered implant, we have a sharp part for self-cutting area in, in the apex area, in the middle part we have a 60 degrees angulated thread design not as steep as down here uh, for reaching high primer stabilities, uh, great for immediate placements and immediate loadings and on the top part you can see the threads are uh, flattened out on the sides to, uh, to have no compression of the cortical bone. Um, the whole implant um, uh, system at TRI have a so-called triple leaded threads and um, this is three independent threads from the apex area, you see that in the three different colors, surrounding the implant body. This is uh, shown by this video a little bit more easy. The apex area is nicely round to not destroy the Schneider membrane. Uh, we have um, three different implant um, threads surrounding the body. Um, um, we have um, three different parts here, the green, the yellow and the red part. The green part is self-cutting, the middle part as already said is uh, um, right to reach high primer stability in the spongiosal area and on the top part we flatten the, the threads out to have no, not too high compressions on the cortical areas and then uh, uh, ending up the threads in a groove on the top. This um, design is for all implant lines at TRI, the standard. So the surface technology is the so-called TRI SBA surface technology and sandblasted and acid etched, uh, two times acid etched surface technology, the, uh, uh, the gold standard in the industry since more than 20 years. Classical SLA surface technology, um, um, here called SBA surface technology. We reach from the um, uh, sandblasting part from with corundium a microstructure from 20 to 40 microns and the microstructure is reached by the acid etching process to 2 to 4 um, 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 microns which gives the perfect um, surface for um, a high primer stability, oh, sorry, for a high osseointegration and a nice um, um, long-term quality of um, osseointegration. So let's continue uh, more detailed into the matrix uh, product line. Uh, we have two implant types, the bone and the tissue level implant. Uh, the bone level implant is here shown by uh, uh, in a gray color. Uh, from the top view, we have here the platform 37, which is, uh, the un um, which is color coded with a golden um, a sign and uh, the platform P45, so the diameter here 45, 4.5 millimeters uh, for the bone level system, um, um, uh, sorry, for the platform 45 is um, silver um, color coded. So the same um, platforms are available for the tissue level implants. The tissue level implants are pink anodized on the top. That's why you see here the pink color comparing to the gray color of the bone level. This is the tissue level implants with platform 3.7 and this is the tissue level implants with platform 4.5. Nice to see here is that the platforms are completely equal. That means or also for the prosthetic components, you have the same prosthetic components for bone and tissue level, but makes the system very simple. 
from the side we can have this view left side you see different um, platforms with 3.7 and 4.5 of tissue level matrix implants on the right side you see the platform 3.7 and platform 4.5 of the bone level system the difference here is the height of the color you have here 1.8 millimeter anodized pink anodized out, out of aesthetic reasons and for the bone level you have a 0 0.5 millimeter high machined um, shoulder um, take let's take a look into the product catalog of the matrix implant system so um, to open the product catalog is the first side uh, shows you the um, portfolio of the implant itself of the matrix implants on the top you can see all the bone level implants short it's BLM this is for the article numbers interesting bone level matrix implants are always signed with BLM and down here you have the tissue level implants the tissue level matrix implants always shown with TLM um, for the lengths of the implant you can see we have the same length and we have the same diameters of the implant body for bone and tissue level we by by bone level we start with the diameter 3.7 continuing with 4.1 and 4.7 for the tissue level we already start with a diameter of 3.3 3.7 4.1 and 4.7 platforms as i already mentioned are um, color coded golden for the platform 3.7 and silver for the platform uh, 4.5. So, very interesting is here, for example, at the tissue level um, portfolio, you can see here TLM um, 3.7 means the, the diameter of the implant and 11 millimeter long uh, with a platform 3.7. The same implant we, is available in TLM 3.7, 11 uh, length in platform 4.5 and I think this is very interesting so on the next slide you can see these two implants on the left side you can see the platform gold anodized 3.7 on the right side platform 4.5 and again the diameter uh, here of the implant is the same 3.75 in the very much detailed um, um, explanation and the length is implant length 11 millimeter so and and the end you have the platform 3.7 and so this is just again to explain you the uh, article numbers TLM minus 3.7 minus 11 minus P37 is um, um, explained with this slide and the difference between these implants is really the P37 comparing to the P45 you can see the difference here 4.5 millimeters and here 3.7 millimeters again the bone level implants are available in the common TRI lengths of 3.7 4.1 and 4.7 in, in, in the common length 6, 8, 10, 11, 13 and 16 millimeters uh, for the tissue level implants we added also the diameter 3.3 so uh, from our narrow classical line we have the same diameter here and this is also already explaining that we have the same drilling protocols for this implant system. Um, just um, to show you the advantages, the aesthetic advantages of this matrix tissue level implants, you can see here I go forward and backward with my cursor to show you we have one platform with different diameters. So this is absolutely interesting and, um, to, to um, place in aesthetic zones um, and, and also with this pink in the combination with the pink anodized reverse taper in this moment, I think the tissue level matrix implant is a very uh, aesthetic implant and can be placed also in uh, in the aesthetic zones. Um, co continuing with the packaging of the matrix, also the TRI pot is um, already used and um, um, many years um, 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 shown as a really really high quality packaging. The TRI pot we uh, have now with the matrix con uh, implant. Um, as well and so the tier iPod is in touchless delivery uh, so we do don't have an adapter or a connector into the implant you just like uh, grab the implant with the implant driver either by hand by handpiece or directly um, um, with the torque control these three possibilities you have and um, as you can see on this picture we have a very high quality of surface 
um, of the of the implant um, a very clean surface technique with this packaging because the implant itself it's like standing in the middle of this packaging and has no contact uh, to the surface of the um, packaging itself. Um, then, last but not least, we, uh, I would like to show you the implant driver. We have different implant driver, drivers. We have short ones and we have long ones. You can see the article numbers below here. And we have these implant drivers either for your ESO connection, um, for your handpiece directly. This is the short one with the ESO connection. And this is the long one with the ESO connection. And we have it for our torque control, for the torque wrench directly to, to use with our implant uh, torque wrench. So um, thank you for listening. See you in the next uh, part.